OMG, welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn coming at you with a new weekly video. I'm in the school pickup line getting ready to pick up Donna. Uh, Clark is in the back seat with me. So I thought I'd film a quick intro. I can't find my cart my phone holder so I got you propped up <laughs> anyways in this week's video we are gonna be doing um, some flower things I'm gonna be pulling up my dahlias and getting ready to store them um, I plan on planting some of my fall bulbs um, I got a new dang plant I'm super excited about so we're gonna be doing a bunch of different things in this week's video I want to try to get everything done that I can while it's still warm enough for me to be outside. It's not super warm, but warm enough for me to be able to stand it. If you're new and you just found me, I am so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you're already subscribed, thanks so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. All right, we're going to get into all the good productive stuff that I'm going to get done this week. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's get to work. Well, my count was off last week. <laughs> there were just bags stacked on top of bags. 31 dang bags from last week. Plus the six that I actually got out last week on pickup day. Oh my goodness. And you can see it's snowing. I mean, it's not snowing right now. It snowed yesterday on Halloween. Uh, so the ground is just, it's covered. Uh, somebody asked me, what are all these flags doing in my yard? They're replacing our sewer lines. Uh, so they're digging up everybody's yards and some people's driveways. So yeah, that, that'll be fun. I'm not sure how much longer they're gonna work, but they did mark my yard up and my neighbors. Uh, so I'm guessing they're gonna be digging over here soon. Anyways, last week was a huge week of yard waste getting out. And um, right today, we're gonna spend some time in the house because it's cold and yucky out here. Well, I ordered my first ever online plant. <laughs> this is not it. This is my original, very first plant that I've had for like a year and a half, my Diffenbachia. She is doing absolutely incredible. So much new growth on this plant, uh, which is from me, but tons down there, but I have all kinds of new leaves coming right here. Um, another one right here getting ready to open. She's just gorgeous. But I had been finding the last few months that I was really struggling with brown, like the edges were getting very brown. So if you've ever experienced that, um, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to see if it works. I learned, I was watching, I've been watching all kinds of plant videos <laughs> lately. Um, anyways, I think her name is Plantarina. And... Uh, Diffenbachias and I, a lot of other plants too that I was not aware of because I'm new to the whole plant thing um, need humidity. And in the wintertime, my house does not have humidity. You can definitely buy a humidifier, which I may end up doing. Um, but she also said misting your plants, just misting the leaves will help increase the humidity. But then I read another blog post that said that's really very temporary and does not do a good job. So here I am, I'm boiling water in the kitchen to increase the humidity level. And I'm hoping that that helps. I, I was just pulling all of the leaves off that had browning on the end, which is why it's sprouting so many new leaves. Um, but I did go ahead and cut a few yesterday that just had a tip with the brown edge. Um, and now I'm trying this to increase the humidity to see if that works. Um, but whenever I've cut the tip before, it didn't work, although I wasn't doing anything to increase the humidity. So anyways, if you're struggling with little brown tips on your plant, it might be that they need higher humidity than your house has because of the season. 
So I'll keep you updated and hopefully my new plant will be here soon and I will share it with you. Well, my new plant is here in OMG. It's like 10 o'clock at night right now. I was not expecting this till tomorrow, but it arrived a day early. I got a Hoya Bella, my first ever. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, but it's been sitting in the mailbox since like 11 a.m. And you saw how cold it was outside. We had snow on the ground, so I am so nervous if this plant is going to be alive. And fun fact about me, this type of cotton, you know the cotton that's inside medicine bottles, which a lot of medicine bottles don't even have it anymore. I can't stand to touch it. It literally gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know why. While I'm editing this video and watching me pull that cotton out, I have goosebumps all over my body. I don't have any sensory issues. Like, anything except for that type of cotton. Oh gosh, I just can't stand it. Share with me if there is anything that you just cannot stand to touch, like it just makes your skin crawl. Ah, uh, the plant looks like it's okay. I bought this off of Etsy and I will say that the seller did a fantastic job of packaging it. At this point, it only looks like the very two top leaves are a little bit droopy and wilted. Oh, I'm so happy it's alive. I hope it stays alive. It's just a cutting, basically. I think it's a two-inch pot um, that's rooted, so I'm super excited to watch her grow. All right, it's a new day. It's cold, but the snow is all melted, and I got to pull up these um, dahlias. Now, if you watch any videos of people pulling up dahlias, this is not the method that you will see them using. But I already pulled three up. I got a shovel out and everything. And all of the tubers are so incredibly close to the top of the soil that I, I just used a little... There was a couple of them I even just dug around with my hand and I got them up. So apparently I didn't pot them very deep or plant them very deep. I dug a hole as large as what the pot was that my mom grew them in. Uh, so I don't know if I should have planted them deeper. I mean, they all sprouted except for one. And the only reason I didn't get blooms on all of them was because I planted them so late in the year. I mean, there were some of them I didn't even plant until August. So anyways, I'm over here and I got to rinse this all off. Our soil is very wet right now. So this thing is covered with dirt. Remember a few videos ago, I told you that the um, basement window got broke. <laughs> Can you tell which one got replaced? <laughs> I said to the guy, uh, apparently, I need to clean my basement windows. This one's a pain because there's a bar behind it. So you have to actually remove all of that to get to the inside. I'm sure the outside would make a difference, but the inside is disgusting too. So there you go. <laughs> so once I got these um, rinsed off, I'm going to set them in here to dry. They're just going to have to set overnight so I make sure they're totally dry. Uh, before I can get them ready for storage and storing them for the winter. Uh, I told you we got construction. I think I told you. Uh, we got new sewer lines being put in so you can hear all the work. Look at this little cute thing. Uh, this was my little teeny petite white flower that just recently bloomed. Uh, now it makes sense to me why um, the flower was so small. I mean, compared to the tubers of this one and that one. I don't know, I'm guessing maybe these are like the mother. I didn't, my mom planted all of these and started them, so I didn't get to see the tubers when they started. I don't know if they grow that many new tubers, but hopefully you can hear me. When I was pulling this one up, it was easy to pull up again. Uh, one of the tubers broke off, which is okay. It won't affect the plant, but I am gonna clean this off and see if it has an eye, which I don't even know how to tell that at this point, but if it has an eye, this will grow um, on its own as a new, as a new dahlia. 
So I'm gonna have to clean it off and then I'll check and see if I can figure out if I see an eye. Um, but also I'll be thinking about splitting some of these. But my mom said, I watched some videos. They said, you can do it in the spring or you can do it in the fall. A lot of them recommended in the spring. So I'm gonna wait till the spring to do any splitting. Uh, but here we go. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. I got seven more to go. All right. I think I only have two left. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I only have two left. Um, this little guy here, he's unknown because he never um, flowered. He split just naturally, so hopefully he split with an eye on each side, but eh, that's fine. Um, I did mark, I marked three of them are unknown because I think all but one of them had a bud, um, but they never flowered, so I don't know what they look like. This one is my, this one is my mystery guy. This one is the one that almost died and then came back. He had a little heart shaped cut out of one of his leaves. He got a bud, but then the frost came and he is the one I am like gonna baby the most. His tubers look good. They all feel good. Um, so, oh, I hope this one comes back next year and I'll plant it earlier, obviously. Uh, so, all right, I, I I only know of one more. Let's go see if I'm missing one. It's probably just buried for me cutting it back. Let's see if we can find it. It was my big, my big yellow one up there. I know where he is. I still got to pull him out. There was another big yellow one over here. I should have put a stake or something. He was, he was in a little bit. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. <laughs> That will give me 12. Okay. All right. Let's pull these ones up. So I am in a zone where they will not come back because it just gets too cold for them. So I will put them each in their own individual package. I'm going to store them with shredded paper inside of them because that's what my mom does and she's grown them for years. And make sure that the label of what they look like is in all of them so I know for next year. And I'm actually going to store them in her basement, not mine, because she has a wine cellar in her basement that's a little bit cooler than my basement. This yellow guy that had a big flower, it doesn't look like it got any new tubers, but it, it bloomed. Uh, this was my other yellow guy up here. I think they are the same exact plant or flower. And you can see I'm just moving the dirt with my hands. See, I just barely pulled the dirt back and you can already see the tubers, OMG. I mean, they all grew and it's making it super easy to pull them up. So I don't know, I'm probably gonna take the same method next year. <laughs> now this is the yellow one. It has a lot of new tubers on it. This is the last one. I'm gonna rinse these off and let them dry. Okay, I'm pretty sure, well, I got them all. Um, I'm pretty sure these two are the same flower. They were that, the very small plant, but humongous yellow flower. And this was the first one that I pulled up, um, which was over under my dead tree. It doesn't look like it got any new tubers. I'm just guessing that this is an old starter tuber and maybe these whiter ones are the new. I mean, they feel good. Um, but this was the other one. Oh my gosh. That has a lot. Um, I think there's one rotten one in there that I'll need to pull out. But it was a teeny, teeny little plant with a humongous flower. So anyways, I got to cut all of the uh, stems back. I'll just cut them all, like all the way back so that I can store them easy. And I got all my labels except for my yellow guys and uh, we'll get these stored and hopefully they make it through the winter. All my, my mom's, almost all of them make it every year. So uh, there you go. There's the tubers all pulled up. All right, now I gotta get ready to plant my spring bulbs. Well, you plant them in the fall, I don't know. Call them fall bulbs or spring bulbs, whatever. Uh, I got a lot, OMG. 
I got a lot. And I ordered this auger that goes on to your drill because it looks so easy. I'm having a heck of a time down here in this bed. Um, my soil is very, very wet right now because we've had lots of rain and we had snow that melted. And it does recommend that you make sure your soil is wet. Um, but the, the drill bit just keeps on falling right out. I'm drilling down and I have to reverse the drill to pull it up. And then, then, then the dang auger is falling right off. So, uh, and it's not making very big of a hole. I don't know if I bought the wrong size uh, flower auger. I don't know. But unfortunately, this is not working out how I had hoped. Uh, and I'm going to be babysitting EJ, my grandson, who's two and a half years old. Uh, so I got to take a break for a minute so that I can spend some time with him. Are you helping Grandma rake? Good job, Bubs! Wow! <laughs> I think we need to get you a kid size rake, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Bubbies! Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're such a big helper. You're using grandma's hand rakes. Do you see the truck? Oh, he dumped some more dirt. Okay, you're going to clean up? Thank you. <laughs> you almost know how to use them, Bobs. Good job, EJ. It got to be about 55 degrees, so we spent some time outside. He loved watching the trucks moving around. Um, just as a backup, I went ahead and ordered this little, I don't know what it's even called, a bulber, I guess. You can just dig the hole in the ground. So basically, I'm drilling a hole just to make it a little easier, and then I'm using that bulber to make a big enough size hole to actually fit um, a bulb inside of it because the hole that is being drilled, even when I tried to do it like multiple times, it just is not big enough. And although this is a handy little tool, oh, this is a lot of work, like a lot of work. I knew it was going to be work. I guess I just wasn't. I was just thinking, oh, I'll get the drill bit. That's going to make it so easy. And, you know, everybody's soil is different. Everybody's conditions are different. Oh it's not God. working for me. What in the world? Bro I, like, broke it already. <sighs> are you kidding me? I just want to, I just want to plant some pretty bulbs. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I think I'm just going to have to change my plan because I don't know. There's, I've never planted flowers in the ground in this area. And yes, we did add some new dirt here, but I'm even digging into parts that new dirt wasn't added. And it is unbelievably hard. I have clay soil. A lot of areas have clay soil, but there's got to be something happening in this particular bed because I just took the drill and even though it didn't drill a hole big enough, it went right through super duper easy. And then I could get the bulb thing in there to drill the hole or to make the hole big enough. So easy. And of course I had all my flowers planted in this bed. My plan was that I wanted my spring bulbs to go in this bed and in that bed. But that's the way it looks right now. I think I'm going to have to end up putting it in this bed and this bed. I was just worried that this one doesn't get quite as much sun as that one does over there. But oh man, I can't like it'll take me weeks to get the bulbs planted if I try to do it over there. I'm going to have to manually dig. Uh, so I'm just going to start working on this area instead. Everything is moving so much easier in this bed than it did in the other bed. Um, it's still a lot of work because I can't just use the drill bit to do it. I'm still having to go in. And it's nice that the soil is 
wet enough that it's just coming right up. It's pretty easy to work with, but that little bulber, oh, that it's it's a lot of work. I ended up getting some calluses on my hands and I didn't even get very much of it done. Oh my gosh. And in this bed, the the drill bit never came up once uh, like it was in the other, or like fell off like it was in the other bed. So I don't know. I don't know if there's something underneath the soil that I can't see. I did find it a tad challenging because we have, um, oh, what is it called? Um, weed barrier down. The it, the stuff got stuck in the drill once, which I got it out right away. Um, but we put weed barrier down, and then there was already some type of very heavy-duty plastic weed barrier here. So I don't know if that was what it was. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get a few bulbs planted. I did put some bulb, some bone meal in here. Tons of videos I watched said it's really not necessary. The bulb has everything it needs. But I'm just going to put it in there, and all I'm planting right here in this little corner are daffodils. And I ordered another tool to try, so I'm going to take a break from this because, oh my gosh, I got a lot of bulbs to plant. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move into the backyard and do some more cleanup. Oh my gosh, he is like a kid that loves to jump through the leaf piles. He was cracking me up. Um, so anyways, I took a break from the bulb planting. My husband asked me, how many bulbs did you order? I said, a lot. <laughs> but I was waiting. I ordered another tool to see if that'll be easier. And I had to order some chicken wire for my tulips to help protect from the rodents that like to go after them. He is seriously having the best time. Um, so anyways, I thought, let me try to tackle some of these leaves while we have some decent weather to do so. Uh, you can see we got a lot. The hubs was back here a few days ago with the, the leaf blower, blew them into huge piles. So I'm trying to pick some of this up now. And Clark loves the piles. It was kind of making me feel bad pulling all the leaves up because he loves them so much. I hate to take down the leaf, Clark. Do you really like it, huh? Yeah, I hate to take down the leaf. You really like it, huh? You really like the leaf. I can barely see you. Well, no question, he was having the absolute time of his life out here, but OMG, did he get dirty. I had to just put his paws in a bucket of water to get them even halfway clean. I can't with you. Look at your face. Let me see. No, I not get, oh, you got dirty paws too. Clarky. Clarky. <laughs> Look at your face. You are all dirty. <laughs> Oh, you funny boy. So I told you the hubs asked, how many bulbs did you order? And I answered a lot. And he never said anything. And then a couple hours later, he goes, so how many bulbs did you order? 
And I said, I already answered that question. I said, I'll, or no, I said, I already answered that question. He said, all you said was a lot. What did you order, like a hundred? And I started just cracking up. <laughs> you guys, I ordered like 800 bulbs. How am I gonna get this done? Oh my gosh. And then an Amazon got, package got delivered, which was my chicken wire. And he goes, is that more bulbs? <laughs> I was like, no, the bulbs don't come from Amazon. Well, so far I've gotten 10 bags. It's only been 45 minutes. When you're just picking up leaves, it goes way quicker versus all the crap I've been doing. Uh, but all the crap I've been doing is what's been making a huge difference. Anyways, uh, we still got tree, we still got leaves. The oak tree is holding on to the most, I would say. Um, but a lot have fallen. So I'm going to give myself 15 more minutes. I think I can get another five bags. I made a big chunk over here. I almost hate to tear this down because poor Clarky is just <laughs> loving it. It's like his little playground right there. All right, let's get five more bags. Well, I've kind of been all over in this video. I just have to take advantage when the weather is nice enough. Uh, but I mean, I did get a lot done, got my dahlias all stored, started planting my spring bulbs, and I'm getting some backyard cleanup and got my new plant that I'm so excited about. I would love to hear whatever you are working on right now. If you wanna share it with me, please feel free to do so down in the comments. I just love hearing what you guys are working on and I get super excited for you. Hi. Well, this is a big one. You can't have this one. Sorry. I'm not trying to tease you. I just want to get rid of it. I know everybody's posting their decorate for Christmas videos, which I've been loving watching and I cannot wait to decorate for Christmas. Uh, but I just got to get this stuff done when I can get it done. He took the little plastic piece that's been wrapped around the bags. He had two of them out there. <laughs> I'm glad I got them before he ate them. Hopefully next week I can finish getting all the bulbs planted. I hope this new tool I ordered helps a ton. If not, I'm just going to have to put in the hard work and get them planted. Oh my gosh. And they better all come up again and again and again. I've watched so many videos on tulips and every single video that I've watched says they do not come back the same the second year. And I'm like, oh man, I probably should have got more daffodils and stuff, but I got a whole bunch of tulips because I love tulips. So I'm just crossing my fingers that they continue coming up year after year. We're getting close to the end of the video. Thank you so, so much for spending some time with me today. Again, I know I was kind of all over the place in this video. I just had a lot of different things to do and had to switch directions here and there. I feel like this backyard cleanup was a half pick the leaves up and half play with Clark because I kept stopping to throw sticks and balls to him. Oh, and he was just being so cute in the leaf piles. All right, an hour and one minute is what I worked. And I got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 bags. Leaf pickup, it's pretty darn fast when you're only working on leaf 
pickup. So more progress was made, happy with it. I left a little pile for Clarkie for now, but I did get underneath the tree, uh, cleared out. You can actually see some dirt over there. Uh, got some big piles cleared out on the yard, even though you can't even tell. And I got a very messy dog <laughs> who had a ton of fun. So, and it felt good to get out here. I worked up a little bit of sweat, even though it's chilly today. That feels good for my body. And uh, that's it for today. All right, it is a new day and my new tool arrived. And you can see this is so much easier. <laughs> I could not continue on the way I was continuing on. Uh, it did require, there was a couple of spots where I did have to pull the drill out just to make it a little bit easier, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get all these holes in here and get all of my bulbs planted. Again, I know I said everybody's posting Christmas decorating videos and here I am out planting my bulbs, but that's what I'm working on. So thank you so, so much for spending some time with me today. I truly appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'm going to see you again next week for a new video. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye!